Hi guys, good afternoon. Hello there. Hi. How are you going? I'm well, thank you. And you? I'm fine, thank you. Awesome. Well, uh, we're going to start with the class in a moment. Thank you for being here. We're missing a couple of seconds. Maris, what about you? How are you? Good afternoon, teacher. Good afternoon. How are you, Maris? Are you fine? Oh, okay. Well, we're going to start in a moment. Well, it's one o'clock, by the way. Uh, welcome, this is class number 10. Good afternoon, Stephanie, welcome. Hi, Harrison, welcome. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Hello, oh, Andrea. Welcome, Glenda. Dinora. Good afternoon. Thank you for being here, guys. We're going to start with the class because it's one o'clock. Uh, I can see more participants. That's awesome. Welcome, Esmeralda. I can see Daniela. Marvin. Thank you. Thank you. How's it going, guys? How's everything? Are you okay? Are you? Yes, I can. Austin, thank you. Well, I can see Lema, Felix, Alejandra, and Stephanie. Yep, good afternoon. Good afternoon. Hi. Teacher. Thank Hi. you. Hi. Hi, how are you? I'm fine. Good. Okay. Thank you guys Hi, for Tara. how are you? Hello, I'm well. Thank you. And you? And you, Alejandra? I'm fine. Okay. Good. Amazing. Thank you. I All can. right. Yeah. Thanks. It's an honor, guys, to be with you again. This is class number 10. Let's begin. Uh, I can see Glenda Miguel, too. Hi, Glenda. Good afternoon. How are Hi, you? teacher. Good afternoon. Hi. I'm fine. And you? All right. Everything is OK. Thank you. Well, I'm going to start, and I will be passing the attendance. Please, as soon as you listen to your names, don't forget to say present. Okay, let's begin it. Alejandra? Hello. Okay, thank you. Alma? <laughs> present, sorry. Thank you, thank you, no worries. Amanda, Anadinora? Ana Maria? Present. Here. Anna Stephanie. Present. Here. Andrea. Present. And Rafael. Carlos. Carmen. Hi. Hello. Okay. How are you? I'm great. Very good. By the way, I was checking your your message oh okay okay yeah I, I got you thank you Carmen thank you for notifying me okay continue Celia Cynthia Ephigenia Damaris Daniela Edilberto. Present. Thank you, Anela. Esmeralda. Present. Thank you. Fabiola. Felix. Mm -hmm. 
I see you, Felix. Good. Harrison? Yes, present. Thank you. Present. Thanks. Glenda Abigail? Present. Thank you. Glenda Dinona? I can see you, Glenda Dinona. Oste? Can you hear me, Glenda Dinona? I think you're using the microphone, but I cannot listen to you, and I don't want to escuche. I don't want to listen to your microphone. Probably you have some difficulties with the microphone. Verify it, right? And you'll be able to do it. We'll do it again. Post save. Marvin. Thank you. Roger and Suleyma. Thank you. A quien he mencionado. Quiero ver si alguien se ha unido. Hasta el momento estamos bien. Ok. Ok, ok. Thank you, Damaris. No problem. Yeah, you're on the list. Appreciate. Ok, present. Thank you. Very good. Let's get started. Uh, I'm going to display the my screen. Please, well, first I would like to know if you have some questions about the platform. Remember, we're working in the fourth section, right? You have to work in the fourth section. Recordemos, eh, hemos dado inicio, ¿verdad? Ayer dimos inicio a la sección cuatro. Así es que, La invitación, ¿verdad? Siempre seguir avanzando. Empezamos con la sección 4. Probablemente lo hemos hecho. Perfecto. Sigamos. Eh, esa semana debemos de completar la sección 4, ¿verdad? Y pues posiblemente la próxima semana quedaríamos con la sección 5, que sería la última en nuestra plataforma. Es que he estado, ¿verdad? Revisando, actualizando y veo que algunos hemos iniciado, otros, ¿verdad? Probablemente. Estamos en eso, ¿verdad? Así es que la invitación está hecha, ¿verdad? Para que podamos seguir avanzando en la plataforma, desarrollando los ejercicios, eh, ¿verdad? Que se nos muestra. En esa sección, sección 4. ¿okay? ¿Para cuándo dijo Teach and Sorry? ¿Ya? ¿Para cuándo dijo que, que, que necesita que esté hecha la sección 4? Esa semana, ¿verdad? Esa semana. El jueves. ¿Fue ah, el sábado? Mm, sí, pero se le hace, se le hace difícil, ¿verdad? Tienen dificultades, eh, tienen hasta, ¿verdad? Viernes, fin de semana, ¿verdad? Pero lo recomendable sería jueves o viernes, ¿verdad? Pero, claro, lo... si se han atrasado y, y no tienen, ¿verdad? Mucho espacio, eh, pueden aprovechar el fin de semana, claro. Sí, lo que pasa es que, es que yo llego tarde a mi casa y tengo que hacer y cosas así, pero... Pero yo lo hago el viernes, en la noche o el sábado. Yeah, okay. Excelente, thank okay. you. Okay. Well, I can okay, see Jose. It's a pleasure. Hello, Jose. Good afternoon. Hi, teacher. Hi, how are you? Hi. Awesome, thank you. Uh, well, I'm just, you know, giving you some reminders, some announcements related to the course, related to the platform, etc. right? No olvidemos, please, please. Iniciemos, ¿verdad? Si no lo hemos hecho, hagámoslo. ¿verdad? Es muy importante que empecemos ya con la sección 4. Los que pues hemos adelantado, ¿verdad? Llevamos con la sección probablemente 5. Excelente. Pues seguir ahí. Y pues ya vamos a ir, ¿verdad? Preparando eh, para la siguiente semana, ¿verdad? Todavía falta esta semana que sea la última y ¿verdad? procurar tener listo esta semana la sección 4. Que empecemos. Ya iniciamos, de hecho, las, ayer iniciamos. Eh, creo que se puede tener una pregunta. Dígame. Yo eh, ya, sí empecé la, la sección 4, pero no, ya, no, ya no sigue avanzando porque... Eh, 
en el apartado de 4.6, creo. 4.5, 4.6, ya como que me confundí en sí. el tema y no entendí bien, entonces ya no avancé porque, porque no entendí bien esa parte. Entonces, por eso no le he terminado. Excelente. Pero me alegro que ya ha avanzado, ¿verdad? Eh, bueno, de hecho, lo que vamos a ver ahora es que va a poder reforzar ese día, la sección 4.6. Sí. Ese okay. es el Excelente. No se preocupen, ¿verdad? Eh, recuerden, hay que ir avanzando, ¿verdad? Pero tampoco, ¿verdad? Si nos están presionados. ¿Ok? Eh, si nos hemos adelantado y vamos por la, por ejemplo, la sección 4.11, por decirles algo, o ya probablemente la sección 5. Muy bien, muy bien. Eh, los que vamos adelantados, ¿verdad? Los que vamos, ¿verdad? Al día, por decirlo así. También, excelente. ¿verdad? Vamos acá eh, practicando, reforzando. Facilita el contenido. Y claro, si hay dudas, preguntas, ustedes las hacen. Para eso nos reunimos acá, ¿verdad? Para que ustedes... Eh, discutan, eh, puedan hacer sus preguntas, comentarios, etc. Y lo que vamos a ver ahora, ¿verdad? Va a ser relacionado con lo que se hace siempre nos pregunta, ¿verdad? No sigo avanzando porque ese, probablemente encuentro una dificultad acá, la cual, ¿verdad? Lo vamos a, a solventar ese día. Cosita y pregunta, háganmela saber y con gusto. Es relacionado con los posesivos. Posesivos. Es el 4.5, ¿verdad? El video que está acá, con activo, y acá estamos. Y es relacionado con eso, eso lo vamos ¿verdad? a discutir este día, vamos a pasar, ¿verdad? Unas preguntas, practicando, etc. ¿Ok? Si alguien más tiene preguntas, dudas. Teacher, buen cuestión. Yes. También. Um, por ejemplo, si tengo dudas el... El viernes o el sábado usted contesta los sábados y domingos. Sí, claro. Yo siempre estoy disponible. ¿verdad? Probablemente el sábado si no le contesto rápido es porque estoy en clase. Tengo, bueno, trabajo todo el día. Entonces es bien difícil. Pero, Pero le, la noche sí. Pero le contestaré, claro. Claro que sí. Ah, ok. Thank you. You're welcome. Igual domingo. Bueno, todos los días. Todos los días. No se preocupe. Ok. okay. Excelente. Si hacemos ahí la orden, ¿verdad? Eso es lo que me pregunta. Es, eh, con respecto a, ¿verdad? Al desarrollo de todo, ¿verdad? Las actividades, plataformas, etc. Entonces, si alguien más tiene alguna duda, alguna pregunta con respecto a las plataformas, acción, etc. Si no, vamos en eso. Porque ese tema sí es bastante, ¿verdad? Extenso. ¿Estamos bien? Ok. Creo que no hay preguntas. Si es que a seguir, ¿verdad? Seguir avanzando. Sección 4. Eh, para ¿verdad? poder completar esa semana. Al mismo tiempo, ¿verdad? Quiero hacer énfasis, ¿verdad? En, no olviden utilizar su cámara, ¿verdad? Y estar presente siempre, ¿verdad? Es muy importante eh, mantener ese porcentaje de asistencia y de notas también, ¿verdad? Es que hay que estar presentes, ¿verdad? La hora, los 60 minutos, eh, complementar la plataforma, eh, tomar en cuenta, ¿verdad? Todos los lineamientos, que está siempre con su nombre completo. Creo que todos estamos bien en este momento, ¿verdad? Solo hice el cambio a Alejandra, siempre me pareció con un nombre y apellido. Y. No podemos hacer eso en nuestra cámara, please. Los que tengan dificultades, por algún me, me estuvieran comentando, pues está bien, pero ¿verdad? espero que la podamos ¿verdad? tener disponible mañana. Excelente. Ok. Like I said before, well, today is Tuesday, February 8th. This is class number 10. The topic is possessives. Possessives. We're going to see different forms different forms, right? When you say possessives, you know, it's because you talk about possessions, possessions, belongings, you know, or that relationship that you have with, you know, people, 
Excel, right? So that's the way we use possessions. Possessions. So you say, right, you talk about possessions, right? Possessions. My cell phone, my computer, etc. right? For example, this is, you know, a table that I need you to take into account, right? Because we have three forms. You know that we have the personal pronouns, right? I, you, he, she, it, we, you and they, right? That's what we practice in the first classes. First classes. Remember, personal or subject pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. And then, you know, we associate the subject pronouns with the possessive adjectives. We saw the possessive adjectives too, right? Possessive adjectives. My, your, his, her, it, our, your, and their. One more time. My, your, his, her, it, our, your, their. Remember, we associate. We associate the subject pronouns with the possessive adjectives. We have that association. I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her, it, its, we, our, you, your, they, their, right? That's the way. Remember, talking about possessives. First, we have possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives, right? When do we use possessive adjectives? We use them to talk about possessions. Possessions or, you know, the relationship. The relationship with people, right? We use them to talk about possessions or the relationship, you know, that you have with others. Others, right? That is the way. So this is the first one, right? Possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives. Let me clarify. We use them to talk about possessions, right? Or I would say just relationship, right? Or relationship between between people, people and things, right? People and things. Those, you know, those are possessives. Possessives. Again, when you say possessions, right? My cell phone, my mouse, my computer, etc. Right? Those are my possessions. My possessions. The first four is possessive adjectives, right? Possessive adjectives. These ones. Again, my, your, his, her, x, our, your, their. Okay? And you express, right, examples. You say, this is my cell phone. This is my cell phone. This is my possession, right? This is my cell phone. Okay? So the object is cell phone. That is my possession. That is a possession. Cell phone. Cell phone, right? This is my cell phone. Again, this is my cell phone. Then you can say, these are your pants. These are your pants. So, I don't know, maybe I'm talking to what? Let's say I'm talking to Marvin, right? And I said to, to Marvin, Marvin, these are your pants, right? Can... These are your pants. These are your pants. So I'm saying that these are Marvin's pants, right? Marvin's pants. Okay. So the object, the object is pen, right? In general, pen. And then I said, right, these are your pants, Marvin. These are your pants. Imaginemos, verdad, que son de Marvin. Son de Marvin. Yes. These are your pants. Yes, it's my, it's my pants. Exactly. It's my pants. Very good. It's my pants. Or 
they are my pants, right? They are my pants. Here, I can see more participants. Let me see. So we have Dinora and I can see Ephigenia. Hello, Ephigenia and Ana Dinora. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi. Hi, friend. Awesome. Thank you. Somebody else, let's see. Hi, Nenara, how are you? Hi, teacher. Hello, it's all good? Yeah. Come on. Are you okay? Are you fine? Um. How are you? Remember, if you listen to the question, how are you? You have to say it. Well, teacher, I'm good. I'm happy. I'm okay. How are you? Another... ¿Cómo se llama? Eh, when I say Dinona and everybody, remember, I ask you, how are you? Right? So you answer, I'm good. I'm okay. I'm happy. I'm excellent. Okay. How are you? Another? I come. You're good. Okay, you're good. Excellent. Good. Very good. good. Thank you. All right. Well, we're talking about possessives. That is the topic, right? Possessives. Possessives. And we have started with possessive adjectives. What is a possessive? What are possessives? Possessives. Possessives are used to talk about possessions, possessions or relationship between people and things, right? That is the purpose of possessives, right? Possessives. And you can say, right, well, let's, we have started with possessive adjectives. That is the first form. Possessive adjectives, this ones. Remember, it is important to make that association, right? With the subject pronouns. Siempre hacemos esta asociación, ¿verdad? Con los eh, pronombres, ¿verdad? Personales. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. So we make that association. You say, I, my, you, your, he, his, she, her. It, its, we, our, you, your, they, their, right? These are the possessive adjectives. We have seen this topic before, right? Vimos ese, esa parte o esas formas en las primeras clases, ¿de acuerdo? You can say, right, this is my cell phone, right? As I said before, this is my cell phone, right? This is my cell phone, this is my mouse, etc. Right? This is my cell phone, and I'm the object in this case is cell phone, right? I'm referring to that possession, right? That's my possession. My possession. The, the object is a cell phone. Right? By say, mm, but in that case, Esmeralda, you say this is your car. Because it's in, it's in singular. Esmeralda, this is your car. Because it's singular. One car. One car. And it's correct. This is your car. For example, if I say, uh, you know, that to Esmeralda, right? Esmeralda, this is your car. Right? Imagine that, you know, we're talking, right? We're talking to each other. And I say, Esmeralda, this is your car. This is your car. Exactly. That is the way. Ahora estamos hablando, en ese caso, ¿verdad? De la posesión o el objeto que le pertenece a Esmeralda. Very good. So I'm, I will put this in parentheses, right? Esmeralda's form. Esmeralda's form. Ah, lo que sea paréntesis es solamente es una explicación, ¿verdad? Thank you. Another example, of, like I said before, right? These are your pants. And I was referring to Marvin's, right? Marvin's pants. So I said, imagine that these pants are Marvin's, right? Marvin's pants. 
Marvin's pants. And I say, Marvin, these are your pants. These are your pants. I'm saying your. Yes. Your. They, they, are just, they, are my, they are my pants. Yeah, exactly. They are my pants. Very good. So in that case, it's different, right? Marvin said they are my pants because he is referring to his possessions. In this case, it's different, right? Because he's referring to his possessions. So this is, they are my pants. But in my case, I say, in my case, I say, these are your pants, Marvin. Your pants. In my case, I digo así, verdad? Porque soy diciendo que esos lapiceros son de él. These are your pants. Okay? So the object is a pen, right? The object is pen. Okay? For example, I can say, this is his jacket. This is his jacket. This is his jacket. So imagine that, you know, I'm referring to what? Let's say uh, we're referring to Harrison's, right? Harrison's jacket. So I say to you guys, this is, right? This is Harrison's jacket. This is Harrison's jacket. Or this is his jacket, right? I'm referring to Harrison, okay? In this case, imagine that I'm referring to Harrison. So I'm saying, this is his jacket. This is his jacket. Okay? So the object is jacket. And this is the possessive adjective, his. His. And another example is, these are our sunglasses. These are our sunglasses. These are our sunglasses. Okay, so the object is sunglasses. Sunglasses. Imagine we can say, guys, we can say, right, this is our glass. Right? This is our class. This is our class, right? Uh, I am the facilitator and you are the participants, right? You're the participants. So we are a class. We are a class. This is our class. Okay? So in this case, the possessive adjective is our. And the object, the possession is some glasses. Some glasses, right? Those are the possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives. Any questions over here? No, all clear. Okay. Okay. You know, later you will have the opportunity to write, you know, different examples. No worries, no worries. Casi al finalizar, ¿verdad? Vamos a tener la, la, la oportunidad de, de escribir, ¿verdad? Ideas, escribir oraciones, ¿verdad? Utilizando lo que estamos ahorita, ¿verdad? Consultando lo que estamos ¿verdad? practicando. Process the adjectives. Somebody else, question? Questions? Okay, let's go with the next form. Let's continue again with the table. We have the last bar. What is the last bar? Possessive pronouns. This is number one, right? Possessive adjectives. The second form is possessive pronouns. Pronouns. This is another form when you want to talk about possessives, possessives, possessions. What are the possessive pronouns? Again, remember, keep in mind the personal pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they, right? Subject pronouns. And again, we associate the subject pronouns with the possessive pronouns, right? So the pronouns, the possessive pronouns. What are the possessive pronouns? We say mine, mine, yours, his, hers, 
it's ours, yours, theirs. So as you can see, they are similar to possessive adjectives, right? But in some cases, you include S and E. Si observamos, son algo similar a possessive adjectives. A excepción de que se les agrega, verdad, en algunos casos, o la mayoría de, de la mayoría, no, no diría, agregamos S. Only the first one is different, mine. Mine, yours, his, hers, it's, ours, yours, theirs. These are the possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns, remember? Possessive pronouns. That is the second form. We're talking about possessives. Possessives. Mine, one more time, listen. Mine, yours, his, hers, it's, ours, yours, theirs. One more time. Listen and repeat. Mine, yours, his, hers, hers, it's, it's ours, ours, yours, yours, theirs. Theirs. Yeah, that's right. Those are the possessive pronouns. Possessive pronouns. Let me give you some examples. How do we use that? Again, we are referring to possessions. Possessions. And you can say, this cell phone is mine. It's different, right? This cell phone is mine. This cell phone is mine. Or you can say, you go back to the possessive adjectives. You say, this is my cell phone. This is my cell phone. Look, listen. This is my cell phone. Possessive adjective. Possessive pronoun. The cell phone is mine. The cell phone is mine. And what I'm is just, different. The difference, well, we don't have a difference because you're referring to a possession. It's the same. It's the same, right? Maybe the difference is with the meaning, right? The meaning. The meaning. La diferencia podría ser con el significado, ¿verdad? No, bueno, no es tanto el significado, sino que, eh, ¿cómo diría? Mm, porque el, es lo mismo. Nos estamos refiriendo a posiciones. Right? This is my cell phone. This is my cell phone. And this cell phone is mine. So you're expressing possession. It's the same. The same. So, yeah, I would say the meaning, right? The meaning is different because mine, my is different. Right? Talking about the meaning. My and mine son diferentes en cuanto a su significado, ¿verdad? Significado. Es diferente, ¿verdad? Pero se usa para el mismo. Pose possessions. Possessions. This is my cell phone. Solar es mío. Oh, this is my telephone. This is my celular. This cell phone is mine. This celular is mine. That is the difference. But it's the same. You can use both. Both are correct. Ambos son correctos. ¿verdad? Podemos utilizar diferentes formas. Okay. This is the second form, right? Possessive adjectives was the first one. Possessive adjectives. Possessive pronouns is the second form. You use mine, yours, his, hers, its, ours, yours, theirs. One more time. This cell phone is mine. So again, the object is the cell phone, right? The object is cell phone. Another example. Again, I can say these pens are yours. Now, again, I will refer to Marvis pens. I imagine that these are Marvis pens. I will say, Marvin, these pens are yours. These pens are yours. Or I can say, let me go back. Marvin, these are your pens. These are your pens. Possessive adjective. Possessive pronoun. These pens are yours, Marvin. These pens are yours. Yours. Okay? See. See the difference. 
And again, the object is pen, right? The object is pen. Another example again. This jacket is his. This jacket is his, right? We go back. Regresemos. Entonces, si antes you say, right, this is his jacket. Can I get, remember, we were referring to persons, right? Persons' jacket. Pero, el ejemplo, ¿verdad? Imaginemos. Estamos hablando de persons' jacket, right? Person's jacket. This is his jacket. What is the adjective? What is the pronoun? This jacket is his. This jacket is his. Okay. What is the pronoun? The pronoun. And again, we're referring to person's jacket. Bueno, so estamos referiendo siempre a ¿verdad? person's jacket. Person's jacket. Okay. And the last one, these sunglasses are ours. These sunglasses are ours. Possessive pronoun. Let me go back. Possessive adjective, you say these are our sunglasses. These are, these are our sunglasses. Possessive adjective, our. Possessive pronoun, these sunglasses are ours. These sunglasses are ours. And let me go back here. And I said this is our class. I can say this class is ours. See, see the difference. This is our class, because it's the additive. So the pronoun this class is ours. This class is ours. That is the difference. Only, I would say, in the meaning of the word, right? Because we always refer to possessions. Solo el, lo que cambia es, ¿verdad? La forma, posiblemente la estructura, y un poco su significado, ¿verdad? Right? Con las palabras. Pero lo demás es, we're talking about possessions. Right? Estamos hablando siempre de posesiones. Eh, let me see. Yes, and that's okay. You can use both. You can use both, right? If, you know, most of the times when you are talking about possessions, you use the WH word who's. Who's asking for possessions. So this WH word is for that. We're asking for possessions. You, you say, who's. Is this? Whose is this? Whose is this? I can say this is my this is my cell phone, or I can say eh, this is mine. So both are correct, Stephanie. Both are correct. Whose is this? I can ask you, right, guys? Who's who? Whose is this? Sorry. Whose is this? And you say, okay, teacher. That is your cell phone, or that cell phone is yours, right? In my case, I can say, this is my cell phone, or I can say, this is mine. This is mine. Both are correct. Ambos son correctas. Pueden utilizar la que se desean, ¿verdad? Las dos formas. Okay. Any questions? Let me know, please. Not the term. Nope. Excuse me? Question, question? Listen to you? Nope. Not teacher. Not teacher. Possessive okay. adjectives, possessive pronouns, we have two forms, right? We're missing one. We're missing one form. Okay? 
possessive adjectives, possessive adjectives. Let's continue with the third form. There is a third form, and this is that one, sorry, is possessive, possessive with S. So we can have these two ways. So do you remember that you, you were asking me for this, right, in the first classes? Possessive with S and on the two forms, right? Te recuerdo que me estaban preguntando, ¿verdad? Al, eh, casi al inicio del curso. Eh, acerca de eso, ¿verdad? Les dije que lo íbamos a ver, ¿verdad? Sí. Let's go. We have the possessive with the S. When do we use them? Again, we use them because we want to talk about possessions. Let's recall. Possessives. Possessives, we use them to talk about possessions or relationship between people and things. The first form was possessive adjectives, right? I, your, his, her, it, our, your, their. The second form was possessive pronouns. Mine, yours, his, hers, it, ours, yours, theirs, right? This. Now the third form, the third form is possessive with S, possessive with S. As you can see, we have two forms. We have two forms. We have the apostrophe and we have the S, right? Remember, this is the apostrophe, apostrophe. Eso es el apóstrofo, el apóstrofo. It is used in English, right? But this with S. That's why you say, right? Uh, for example, her son's jacket. Right? So in other words, listen, in other words, you're saying the jacket of her son. That is the equivalent, right? That is the equivalent. In English, in English, we use this form, not this one, right? This one is the one that we use in English most of the times. La mayor parte del tiempo se utiliza la, esa forma, se so with S. En inglés debemos ser bien cuidadosos porque esa es la forma que más se utiliza. Uh, incluso personas verdad nativas del idioma utilizan bastante eso. No las, la, la forma que saca, ¿verdad? Probablemente lo vamos a ver, ¿verdad? Eh, ya sea escuchemos, probablemente lo veamos eh, en un texto, ¿verdad? Que lo veamos, o probablemente con bueno, perdón, como hacemos hablando, ¿verdad? Etcétera. Pero, ¿verdad? Eso suena bastante español. The jacket of person. So that's why we use possessive S, person's jacket. And it sounds, you know, sounds better, right? It sounds better and, and, and easy and fast. Suena mejor, fácil y más rápido, person's jacket. Person's jacket. But you know, we need to make emphasis on the S. Person, person. That's normal, right? Normal, person. Just a name. Eso es normal, verdad? Person, person. Solo nombre. But if you include the possessive with S, you, you have to say persons, 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 persons jacket. So you have to make emphasis on this when you pronounce, okay? And as you can see, we have two different forms. Number one, the apostrophe goes before the S. Number two, the apostrophe goes after the S. What is the difference? It's simple. What is the difference? The apostrophe antes de la S and the apostrophe después de la S. What is the difference? It's this. When you have singular nouns, you use the apostrophe before the S. Singular nouns. The apostrophe before the S. For example, boy. One boy, right? 
singular. When you say boys, boys, because it's just one, right? We can see the illustration. And if you want to use it in a sentence, you said the boy's bicycle is blue. The boy's bicycle is blue. So the bicycle belongs to the boy. The bicycle belongs to the boy. The boy's bicycle. Remember, the apostrophe goes before the S. El apostrophe va antes de la S because it's singular. In both are correct, I mean, you know, if you have ambas son válidas, son válidas. Pero lo que sucede acá es que muchas veces, verdad, eh, y eso es un error que cometemos, verdad, muchos, es que pensamos en español, perdón. Sí, pensamos en español mucho tiempo, ¿verdad? Entonces, somos, pensamos en español una idea, por ejemplo, y la transmitimos, verdad, de igual forma, en inglés. Entonces, hay que pensar, ¿verdad? Eso, ¿verdad? Es un consejo para todos. Hay que siempre pensar siempre en inglés. Transmitir en inglés. Hay que ir haciendo, ¿verdad? Ese ejercicio. Porque muchas veces es lo que sucede. A veces hacemos esa traducción, ¿verdad? En nuestra, en nuestra mente, en nuestros pensamientos. Y lo transmitimos de esa forma. Entonces, the jacket of person suena bastante español. ¿Verdad? Entonces, lo que recomendar, ¿verdad? Y lo mejor sería Possessive Hands. Ambas son válidas. Sí, claro que sí. Vamos a ver, ¿verdad? Probablemente, repito, en alguna parte que eh, se esté utilizando esa forma. Y no estoy diciendo que es incorrecto, ¿verdad? Pero sí, eh, no se utilizan tanto esa forma, ¿verdad? Sino que se utilizan esas formas. When you have a singular noun, again, you say, right, boy, boys, the boy's bicycle. I'm referring to just one person, right? One person. Estamos referiendo a solo una persona, un niño. The boy's bicycle is blue. So the bicycle belongs to the boy, right? Singular nouns, singular nouns. Singular nouns. I can say uh, the woman's corn. I can say the man's uh, computer. I can say the dog's phone, right? So we have singular nouns, singular nouns. The woman, one woman. The man, the man's computer, just one man. The dog is just one dog. Only one, only one. Singular nouns, singular nouns, okay? Singular nouns. So the S, I'm sorry, the apostrophe goes before the S. The apostrophe goes before the S. El apostrophe, repito, va antes de la S en ese caso. Because it's singular. If it is plural now, goes after the S. The apostrophe goes after the S if it is a plural now. Yes. ¿Cómo se pronunciaría, digamos, alguien que se llame Carlos, que termina en S? Carlos Jacket. That's a good question. Carlos. You say Carlos S. Carlos S. Carlos S. Jacket. Carlos S. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, when you have a plural noun, right, you do this. Let me... Like this, right? What are nouns? And you say, well, I will be, you know, in some, but I will give you some specific, you know, examples. Uh, I will say, now the boys. The boys is in, in plural now. When I say boys, you know, I'm referring to, let's say, two, three, five, ten boys, right? Ahora me estoy refiriendo a más niños, ¿verdad? Más niños. The boys bicycles. Bicycles. So now it's in plural, right? Boys. 
And now the apostrophe goes after the S. Ahora el apóstrofo va después a la S. Porque está en plural. Sustantivo. The boys. And we say bicycles. También en plural porque, verdad, son varios objetos, son varias posiciones. Es la misma, pero son varias, por ejemplo, en este caso, bicicleta, por favor. Okay. Yes. Sorry. Tome. Eh, singular. En, en span, in Spanish, eh, the woman's girl. En Spanish. What is equivalence? Yes. Well, the equivalence is like el carro de la mujer. Y el apóstrofe es para. Es para you, hacer la contracción, para no poner. Mm, no. It's because it's a, it's a possessive. It's a possessive. You're talking about possessions. Es un posesivo. Ah. Es para hablar acerca de posesiones. Mi carro. Mi carro. Exactly, exactly. Exactly. Y, y ahí se, se incorpora el apóstrofe. Cuando estoy hablando de algo de posesión que es mío. Yes, yes, exactly. For example, look, I will say, I will give you the three forms. Possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns, and possessive with S. I will say, this is his computer. This computer is his. I will say, uh, this is uh, Marvin's computer. These are the three forms you can express possessions. Okay, in the first one, we're using a possessive adjective. In the second one, I'm using a possessive pronoun. And in the last one, I'm using a possessive with S, right? So these are the three forms. You can express possessions. Listen, possessions. Okay, las tres formas son válidas, son correctas. Si podemos expresar nuestros Posesiones, ¿verdad? Posesiones. This is his computer. I'm referring to Marvin. This computer is his. I'm referring to Marvin. This is Marvin's computer. It's Marvin's computer. And there is another form. There is another form. But I will explain it later, right? I will explain it later. But these are three forms that we use. Possessiality, possessive pronouns, and possessive yes. Does it make sense? Any questions? No sé si hay preguntas. No. When you have a plural now, again, you add it, you use this form, right? Now, the apostrophe goes after the S. Ahora el apostrofe va después de la S, porque el sustantivo es plural. Example, boys. Boys, that is a noun. As you can see in the illustration, we have two, right? Two boys. And you say, the boys' bicycles, listen, the boys' bicycles are blue. Because we're referring to two boys, and of course, we're talking about two bicycles. The boys' bicycle is blue. One boy and one bicycle. One boy and one bicycle. The boys, the boys bicycles are blue. Boys and two bicycles. Okay. Esa la diferencia, verdad? La diferencia. Any questions so far? Preguntas hasta acá? Ah, yo vi que alguien me preguntó con el nombre Carlos. Yeah. When you, when you have an, a name that finishes with S, for example, Carlos. Carlos, let me see. Mm. Maris, for example. 
Aries. Sí. Ajá, que terminen con S. Exactly, exactly. Give me, no, give me another name with S, guys. Sorry. Otro nombre con S, que termine con S. Boris. Boris, ok. Very good. So, when the names finish with S, right? In this case, you add the apostrophe. Only the, the apostrophe at the end. Only at the end. Only at the end. Right. Esa sería la forma con los nombres cuando terminan en S. Solo se le agrega el apóstrofo. En algunos casos van a ver ustedes que hay formas así, ¿verdad? Que las harían así. Pero mmm, no es tan, ¿verdad? Correcto. Si es que solamente se les agrega el apóstrofo. Aquí ya tenemos la S. En you say, Carlos. Solamente Rush. con nombres. Yeah. When, when, when they finish with S, cuando terminan con S, se les agrega solo el apóstrofo. Cuando el nombre es normal, por ejemplo, eh, Daniela, Jose, Jose. So in this case, yeah, you add the apostrophe and then the S. The apostrophe and then the S. When you say Hersons, Danielas, Jose's, you say Carlos's, Carlos's. Damarises, Damarises, Orises, Orises, ¿ok? Esa sería la forma. And then, you have some irregular nouns, right? Man, woman, child, eh, you know, those are the most common, right? When you have irregular nouns, when we have sustantivos irregulares, eh, it's a little bit different, right? Why? Because, for example, you have the singular form, right? The singular form is, oh, by the way, the singular form is, right, the woman, right? The woman's car, the woman's car, the man's car. The child's toy. Okay. These are irregular nouns. Estos son sustantivos irregulares. With these ones, it's different. Because, for example, we use this one. So the apostrophe goes before it. Yes. En esos casos, para los sustantivos irregulares, cuando son plurales, se utiliza la primera forma, es decir, el apóstrofo antes de la S. ¿Por qué? Porque son irregulares and the forms are like, are like this, right? We'll raise this example. I would say the women's, the women's arts. And the men's computers. I would say the children's points. That's why I use this form, guys, because they are irregular. And as you know, the, the, the nouns change when we use them in plural. In this case, we use this form, because the sustantivos, you know, they change, right? In the form of plural, because they are irregular. The woman's car, the women's car. The man's car, the man's car. The child, the child's toy, sorry. The children's toys. So that is the way. Because they are irregular. Irregular pronouns. Irregular pronouns. Again, right? Children. We we'll say children's, right? Children's with the with the possessive with the S. So we say the example, the children's bicycles are blue. So we have two children. Two children. And the bicycles belong to the children. That is the way. So this is the possessive with the S. And I can say, my father's car is new and black. My father's car is new and black. And like I said before, right? This is the way we ask a question. We use whose. 
when you want to ask for possessions. Right. Who's used for asking asking for possessions? Okay. Whose is the WS word? And that is used for questions, right? Whose car is new and black? Listen to the question. Whose car is new and black? X my father's. Esa es la otra forma que quería enseñarles. You can say just X my father's. X my father's. X my father's. Why? Because we know that we're talking about the car. Decimos solamente esa forma porque sabemos que estamos hablando del carro, ¿verdad? Ese es el objeto, la posición. So it's not necessary to start again. It's my father's car, for example. It's okay if we say just it's my father's. You can say it's his, possessive pronoun. Okay, those are the ways. Possessive with this, possessive pronoun. Possessive with this, it's my father's. The pronoun, it's his. It's his. For example, whose glasses are these? Whose glasses are these? They are my sisters. They're my sisters. Or they're hers. They're hers. Okay? That is the way. Any questions? Questions about this, guys? Antes que se me vayan a, a olvidar, quiero agregar a Carlos, luego por acá, a Celia también. Voy a mencionar a los que no tengo lista para, por si acaso alguien se acaba, ¿verdad? Abner, Alma, Amanda, Asael, Cynthia, Delberto, Oyola, por acá, no, Roger, ok, solamente los demás estamos listos, pero... ok, question, yo te hiciera, si, en Ainora ya están listos, ok, no se preocupe, gracias. Preguntas? You know, eh, a simple example can be whose cell phone is this? Whose cell phone is this? Again, let's go with the same exercise. Whose cell phone is this? You can say it's your cell phone, right? You can tell me. I'm asking the question. So I send you la pregunta. Whose cell phone is this? You can answer, right? T-shirt, it's your cell phone. Or you can tell me, T-shirt, it's yours. Another possibility, T-shirt, it's... Or you can say it to, to, to somebody else, right? Maybe it's uh, Mr. Vasquez. Mr. Vasquez um, cell phone. Cell phone, or you can say just it's Mr. Passes. Just like this. It's okay. So here we have, you know, four ways. Four ways you can ask, or you can answer the question. First, we have a possessive adjective. The second form, we have a possessive pronoun. And in the last two forms, we have possessive with S. So with S, right? This is the way. I would say, you know, we change it. I would say X, you can tell me, right? Hugo's cell phone. For X, Hugo. Okay, this is the way. Is everything here? Tell me. Those are possessives. Those are possessives. ¿Estamos bien? Yep. 
coming. Pita la clara. Thank you. Anyone else? Alguien más? Preguntas? Háganme saber si tienen preguntas. No. No. Okay. Listen, because it's time, as you can see, it's two or four. I will assign you this exercise as a, as a practice, right? This will be an extra homework for you. What I want to do, I need you to look at the examples shown. And I need you to write at least five. Five similar examples about your friends, family members, police, and your possessions. For example, I would say my brother's shirt is blue. This is my car. These shoes are hers. My friend's car is black. These jeans are his. And my sister's, my sister's dress is red. And so as, as we can see, I'm using possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns, and possessively end. That's what you have to do. You need to write five, se five sentences, please. Similar examples and use possessions, right? Talk about your friends, family members, police, possessions, and yours too, okay? So this will be an extra homework for you guys. I need you to practice. And uh, if possible, please, I will ask you to send your examples in the WhatsApp group, please. Eso les va a quedar como práctica, ¿verdad? Una tarea extra. Quiero que practiquemos con las tres formas que hemos visto ese día, ¿verdad? Para que podamos eh, reforzar. Y, ¿verdad? Les voy a pedir de favor que veamos nuestros ejercicios o ejemplos que usan el grupo. Compartir, ¿verdad? Ideas. ¿Any questions? Thank you, teacher. No, okay. No question, teacher. Thank you. Thank you. Take a screenshot, please, or take a photo of these examples. Tomemos una captura o tomemos foto de los ejemplos para seguirlos y con base en eso, ¿verdad? Escribirnos sus propios ejemplos. Y obviamente seguirán escuchando, ¿verdad? También. Tomemos una foto, una captura, si la pueden reenviar o si no, yo se las reenvío, ¿verdad? Al grupo. Si alguien más tiene preguntas, un comentario, duda. No, teacher. Okay, okay. Well, guys, it, this is all for today. We're going to start right here because it's time. Don't forget to practice with possessives, possessive adjectives, possessive pronouns, and possessive with s. Okay. I will see you tomorrow, guys. I will. I want to wish you a good day. Enjoy it. Stay safe and healthy. And I will. You know, I'll catch you later. Right. Bye, bye, guys. Blessings. Thank you. Goodbye. Bye. 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 Thank you. Goodbye. Thank you. Bye. 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 Goodbye. Thanks. I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. Goodbye. Okay. Goodbye. Thank you.